In this video today, I'll quickly guide you through how to set up your own NFT drop and deploy it using ThirdWeb's dashboard on the Optimism network. And I'll also show you how to create a simple website to claim the NFT from your NFT drop using Next.js using a very simple claim button. This will be fun because you'll get to learn how to build a simple Web3 application and enable lazy minting for your NFT project. Now, before we dive into the video, if you do get any value out of our content, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to hear all about our awesome content on Web3 and blockchain development. Here, I have navigated to the Explore page on Third Web's website, and I want to click on NFT Drop to deploy my smart contract. Once I am on this page, I want to click on deploy now to populate the metadata of the NFT drop. And to do so, I want to fill out the name and description and upload an image for the NFT drop. For this project, I'll just call it Optimism NFT drop. And for the description, um, I'll just write something like test and I'll upload an image of one of the NFTs that I'll be uploading into the NFT drop. And next section, we have the payout settings, which will confirm that the recipient addresses are correct for our primary and secondary sales. Once we have confirmed all of this information, we can select the network that we want to be deploying our contract on. And we have the option of deploying either on the Optimism mainnet or the Goerly testnet. And since um, we want to use the test funds for the educational purpose of this video, we'll just be deploying on the Optimism testnet, which is the GoEarly network. Once again, take a look at the information that we jotted down. If everything looks correct and ready to go, we can click deploy now. Okay, now that we have deployed our Optimism NFT drop on the Optimism GoEarly testnet, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> um, we can now head over to the Claim Conditions tab, which defines who, when, and how users can claim an NFT, uh, NFT from our NFT drop, such as release dates, allow lists, and claim limits. And to add a claim phase, we want to click on Add Initial Claim Phase. In setting the claim conditions, this allows us to configure the price, release dates, and more information such as which currency we want to use for our NFT drop. And update the details however you'd like, and then we can save the claim phase. Now that we have set up the claim conditions, we're ready to do some lazy minting. Lazy minting is essentially the process of uploading the metadata to your NFT contract without minting them just yet and it is only minted when somebody else is buying it off from you. Now, when you have a number of NFTs, I can show you how to quickly batch upload all of your metadata so that you can lazy mint all of the metadata all at once. So let's head over to the NFTs tab under the NFT drop that we just deployed and click on batch upload button and drag and drop the images along with the metadata files into the upload area. And then we'll be able to preview our NFTs and the metadata before lazy minting them. Next up, we'll be given the option to choose either a delayed reveal or a reveal upon mint. For the simplicity of this video, we'll just click on reveal upon mint, which should be the default option. And once we're ready, we can upload the NFTs. So what's happening in the background here is that your metadata is being processed and pinned to IPFS. And it means that your transaction is now immutable and decentralized at this stage. Once the transaction goes through, your NFTs are ready to be minted. If you want to claim the NFTs directly on the dashboard, we can head back up to the NFTs tab and click on the claim button to mint the NFTs. And the next page here will be directed to enter the address and the quantity that we want to claim. Once we have finalized the amount, we can claim NFT, and this will prompt open our wallet for us to approve the transaction. 
Congratulations, you have just minted your first NFT from your own NFT drop on the Optimism Gorilla testnet. Now let's create a simple Web3 application to claim your NFT as well. In my terminal here, I want to type in npx third web at latest create app next GS. What this is doing is that we're using third web's um, SDK that is pre-configured and uh, it will generate a Next.js template for our Web3 application. Once we're done, we can hit enter. Next up, let's pop open our favorite code editor, which is Visual Studio Code for me personally. And under the pages folder, let's open underscore app.js and change the mainnet to opti Optimism Gorilla Testnet like this. And once we're done editing this file, let's save it and head over to the index.js file to edit the homepage. In the index.js file, let's remove most of the stuff that's wrapped in the return statement before we start building our, our website. Here we'll be using the use contract hook to connect our smart contract using the address that we got from our NFT drop in the dashboard. So what we want to be doing right now is that we want to get the metadata of our smart contract by using the use contract metadata hook, and it will look like this. So we'll be defining the variable data, and we'll call the use contract metadata and pass through NFT drop as its argument. want to create a simple UI to render the NFT image using the media renderer component. And if we hover over this media renderer component, it will say that this component can be used to render any media type, including image, audio, video, and HTML files, which means that if we want to render an NFT, then we will have to include this component. And if we hover over the Web3 button below, it says that this is the component that allows the user to call an on-chain function on a contract, which means that it will allow users to connect their wallet and mint NFTs from the NFT drop using the claim function. Also, a quick friendly reminder that up here in the use contract hook, we need to update the address to the NFT drop address that we just deployed using the third web dashboard. And down here below in Web3 button component, we also need to update the contract address property. And once everything looks good to you, save this file and let's head back to our terminal and type in npm run dev. This will kickstart the localhost and you will be able to preview your Web3 application where you can claim your NFT drop. Now go ahead and try to claim your NFT from your NFT drop website. Now that you know how to set up a claimable NFT on Optimism and build an amazing Next.js web free application, feel free to leave a comment down below to let us know what you thought of the video or join our Discord community if you haven't done so already. The link to join the Discord server is included in the description down below. If you want to check out the code that I created earlier, feel free to take a look at the GitHub repository link down below. We also have included a link for the step-by-step -step guide that we created for this topic. I'll see you in the next video.